Hi, and welcome to 3D Survey Tutorials. We'll show you how to create profile lines or cross sections from a point cloud. To create a profile from a calculated point cloud, just click Calculate Profile button and set parameters for profile line generation. Let's go through these parameters. First, set the distance between profile definition line and points added to create a profile line. It's kind of a buffer zone. If the point cloud reconstruction is done on level 1 or 2, keep it at 0.15 meters. Next, define a segment line. We advise you to keep it at 0.15, test it, and if you're not satisfied with the result, change the segment parameter to a higher or lower number. Next is the calculated transversal profiles checkbox. You'll hear more about this in the second part of this tutorial. The first option is to create one simple profile. We'll leave the box unchecked and click the Select Profile Definition Line button. That will pull the Point Cloud Viewer to top down and author mode. Select the Profile Definition Line with the left mouse click, finish the selection with the right mouse click, wait a couple of seconds and the profile line is created. You can access the calculated profile via the Point Cloud tab, DSM tab, Author Photo Map and Profile tab. There's an option to manipulate profile data and export it to DXF or PDF. Let's take a look at a few tricks. You can change the text size for X-axis, Y-axis or profile title. You can rename the profile by double-clicking the profile name. You can reconnect the anchor point by left mouse clicking the two red dots and reconnect button or the R key on your keyboard. You can also move the anchor point by drag and dropping it or delete it with left mouse click selection and delete button on your keyboard. You can turn off profile point, profile lines or anchor points. And you can change the scale between X and Y axis as well. When you're pleased with your profile section graph, you can export it to DXF or PDF. The result we've got here is in PDF. OK, let's go back and see the second option. This time, we're going to use the Calculate Transversal Profiles box. Set the distance between transversal profiles, 10 meters for example. Go on by setting the length of the profile on each side. Let's do 30 meters. Click Select Profile Definition Line. Left mouse click to start the selection, right mouse click to finish it. Give it a few moments and you'll see the transversal profiles or section lines automatically generated based on selected parameters. Let's have a look of them on Author Photo Map and in the Profile tab. The first one is the profile of our definitions line. Below, we can see the section lines. Don't forget that you can use the same set of functionalities all round. Let's quickly see how it works on multiple point clouds. We've got two point clouds measured at a different time, but in the same area. Turn them both on and follow the same process as before. Give it a few moments to calculate and observe the difference. OK, that's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe for more and like us on Facebook. And as always, thanks for watching.